sippy Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study in my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she boring Love the way you twerk it shawty Throwing money on her own I call it independent shawty What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7, staring down that carbon Kevlar E92 BMW wide body. It is not painted like Christoph's blushes um, because I have not made that paint yet, but I will probably be making a replica of Christoph Blues Euro Fighter E92 that he's competing with. Definitely an amazing car. The carbon Kevlar body is amazing. Uh, it may not look exactly the same because of uh, the body kit that he has, but. It's pretty dang close. So we are here today to do something that I have never wanted to do, but I think I'm going to try it anyways. To compare the difference between 900 degrees of rotation, which is what I do now, to 540, which is what I know a lot of other drivers use. Um, I'm not a fan of using less rotation. I don't know if it's going to make a big difference or if my drifting is going to get better because of quicker response. I know a lot of uh, people do use 540 in Forza. Um, I just personally have always used 900 degrees because it's as close to real as I can get. Um, so I know in Forza 6, I may have used 540 at one point because of the fact that it didn't have basically self-steer like Forza 7 does where the wheel will snap back for me. So we are going to go today. We're going to use this BMW 92 We are going to test 900 degrees. We're going to get sideways. Then we're going to go to 540 and just uh, have a little comparison. We may end up at Long Beach to do a full comparison on it. You know, run a Long Beach section to see, you know, what handles better 900 degrees or 540. As I say, Long Beach, we are right here. So we are not going to go to Long Beach to start off. Um, we are going to go to some place different, Prague, Rio, we're in some place that's kind of, uh, Silverstone Circuit, we were running that, that was pretty fun, so I guess a good place to test this would be at the short Suzuka Circuit, because we can kind of judge it in a sense, so we're going to go to the short Suzuka Circuit, we're going to do three laps, and uh, let us make sure that we are still on 900 degrees. Or 870, I believe I use. 870, so that I don't hit my physical hard stop of my wheel. So we are on 870. We are going to uh, send it at 870, basically 900 degrees. Like I said, I use 870 so that when I go full lock, it's not hitting the dead stop lock of my G920, it's hitting it, it has a small soft buffer um, for throwing the wheel back and forth just to prevent wear and tear on the inside. Um, so we're gonna get the uh, wheel cam turned on. We're gonna get our Energy Innovations wheel clicked in and uh, we're gonna send it here at Suzuka Short in this E92. Uh, I believe I did make this E92 ESDI spec. Um, it just wasn't as comfortable in it as I was my Camaro but we're gonna send it here and uh, instead switch it up to 540 and see what the difference is uh, if you guys run 540 let me know down in the comments if you guys run 900 you know what do you guys prefer so send it in nice e-brake grab have to slow down there we go downshift probably could have stayed in fourth Definitely over revving red line. I think I have this shit for short of gear ratios. So, in this, yeah, we're definitely going to go to fourth. So, in this situation, I don't really find myself going to full lock on these kind of turns. But then again, now that I think about it, yeah, I'm pretty close to lock. Z92 though does handle pretty well. Would be very interested to make a Christoph Blush new Eurofighter with the uh, highlighter yellow as I take out all the cones, highlighter yellow accents. Um, I was very sad when I saw that car hit the wall, but then he repaired it and it looked pretty dang good. Uh, it is a sad moment when the Ferrari caught on fire, so but at least he was okay. There's a lot of crashes. Um, 
Red Amber Cat crashing a Supra. I once again should have stayed in fourth. So the Z92 does handle very well. So 900 degrees of rotation. Right there is full lock. I do notice that I do go pretty far to lock when I am driving. So, and there's a lot more movement in the wheel to keep where I want to go. So I'm wondering if 540 there won't be as much movement in the wheel because I, I will barely have to turn it to get the wheels to where I need it to go. Although 540 may also completely screw me up. That was all off throttle. <laughs> 540 may screw me up, so we're just gonna send another lap here at 900, then we'll switch to 540, then we uh, may switch it up to the ESCA car, hit up the streets of Long Beach, run two laps at 900, and two laps in 540, and see what the difference is in that. See, we would have lost all our points if this is actually a drift, a drift battle, or drift points. But we're not going for points. We're just going for feel of car right now. All I hear is stuff bouncing off the bottom of my car. Apparently, I got two good turns, even though I'm sliding. So. 900 degrees of rotation is just what I'm used to, what I'm comfortable with. I've always used it because I've always wanted to keep it more of a realistic feel. So, like I said, if you guys use 900 degrees, let me know in the comments. Do you use something different? Do you use 540? Do you use 720? Uh, I basically am using 900. I do 870 just for that physical stop. But other than that, I use full rotation of my wheel. That car looks sick. And it's all still in one piece. So I think we're gonna view the repaint a little bit. And um, just kinda get a look at how the wheel reacts or how the front wheels are moving and such. And just, you know, get an idea. We can just look at it and see and also, I don't really watch my replays that much. That's a pretty sweet camera angle. And that's another sweet camera angle. I should watch my replays more because the cinematics and the replays are actually a lot of fun to watch. Like there, just e-brake in. So my wheel is not, my front wheels don't twitch as much as I thought they do. Um, you can definitely tell that it's a wheel and not a controller because on controller you can see the, the wheels twitch like back and forth from lock to not lock. As more than this, but this just is more of a smooth... I mean, you can see a little feathering in the front, but it's not... It's not horrible. That's what we went off track. All right, so we're going to switch it up to 540. And uh, so we're going to hit restart this. We're going to switch to 540, and then we're going to send it in 540 and see, leave everything the same, just change our rotation, and see what the difference is. Uh, I've never tried 540 in Forza 7, so I'm definitely uh, curious to see how this works. We're still creeping up to that uh, Aston Martin, trying to get as many of the cars as I can to up my driver's score and get you know better cars and such. Alright, so let's go to setup, options, and we're going to go to advanced on this one, and we are going to drop this down to 540 degrees of rotation. Uh, and I believe it'll, uh, it'll set it once I start driving, I believe, because I can still go full lock now, but I feel like it will cancel that out and give me a soft stop when I actually start driving so 540 degrees of rotation oh yeah there's barely any turn all right so we're gonna stop real quick 
Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> that just goes lock right away. So, well, we'll give it a shot. We'll see. It's going to look really twitchy, though, probably. <laughs> I can tell you that already because I'm definitely not used to it. So, we're going to send it in. I mean, I barely have to turn. Uh, I don't know if I'm a fan. It's, it's, the snapback is really quick. I am definitely just all over the track right now, though. I keep wanting to throw the wheel. But I know I don't have to. Because I can really just let go of the wheel and let it go to lock. Um, I don't know if I'm a fan of this. It's so twitchy in my eyes, but you know, it may suit some people's driving style. I don't know. I'm going to give it a benefit. It gets so twitchy though. So 540 degrees, maybe not my, my thing, but it might be your thing. No, you know, nothing against you if you run 540. I just personally do not, but like I said, we're going to give it a bit of a doubt and run three laps. We got the single twin turbo. Then again, we may go to Long Beach with the ESDA car and run some way better laps in 540 and I would hate to say that I would be running 540 in ESDA. Because I'm not sure what other people are running setting-wise on wheel setups. I don't know if they run 900 or if they're running shorter, but I think I'm definitely getting a little bit of the hang of this 540 deal. Oof. It's so different, though. I mean, the wheel just... Oh. Too wide. I think that's how certain people are able to just throw, like, hard angles like this and be able to catch it because they can go straight to Fold's counter steer real quick. For people on a wheel, that is. People on a controller can throw a really hard angle because they just, you know, flick their thumbstick and are able to go full lock. So, yeah, I don't think I'm pretty comfortable in uh, 900 degrees or uh, 540. We're going to finish this lap off, use the replay a little bit to see. Because I can see my wheels are twitching a lot more in 540 than they were in 900 as I smack the wall and I think I'm a little bit more I think I'm twitchier in 540 so we're gonna view the replay real quick take a look I'm missing a headlight and then we're gonna hit up Long Beach real quick with the ESDA car and uh, give it a shot both ways 900 and 540 and uh, see the tail of the tapes on that one So, this was just me checking lock. It's uh, definitely quick and very uh, snappy to lock to lock, but maybe not my cup of tea. So, uh, we'll see what the replay looks like, if it's super twitchy or not. Trying to get to the good angles where you can really see it. I mean, I guess it's not horribly twitchy, but then again, I wasn't really on track. I 
I guess it kind of looks the same. It just it snaps back a, so much quicker. And I feel like I'm, yeah, I'm more zero steer at times with 540. So we're going to go restart this real quick. We're going to switch up cars. We're going to switch up tracks. Switch up back to 900 degrees of rotation. And then uh, we're going to send it again and then uh, do another comparison at Long Beach on a section for clipping points and such. So hopefully... Uh, we can get some good, decent runs in for a comparison. So I'm going to switch everything up, get back to 900, and uh, we're going to go to Long Beach. We are lined up at Long Beach. We are back on 900 degrees of rotation. So we are going to send it at 900 degrees and uh, see how she goes. There we go. Initiate in. A little bit off the wall where I wanted to be, but not a very smooth run, but not completely horrible. We didn't smack the wall, we didn't die. So it should be a lot better, but I was not spinning the wheels fast enough because I was thinking I was still on 540. So I'm gonna rip this back. Long Beach flows really nice backwards too. Ooh, almost clipped the wing. Almost lost my wing there. I am definitely having a lot of fun recently doing some open lobbies and such and live streaming. It's been uh, a lot of fun. A lot of different people getting tandems with, so it's definitely fun for tandeming with others. All right, we go. We send it again. It in. It's a little bit better. Right on the outside, there we go. Okay, so that was a much better run. A little shaky on the exit. But I wonder if we could switch just straight to 540 without having to quit out. I think we can. Let's give it a shot real quick. Options, we can. Okay, good. So we don't have to quit out. I should have done this the first time, get wrecked. But, you know, wasn't paying attention. Jumps down to 540. Save it, exit, exit, exit. Now we should be, yep. Now we are on 540, and I believe this car is super twitchy on 540. Oh my gosh. So this is going to be very different. I can see it already. It's going to be really different. So, 540 degrees. Um, I don't think it's for me. <laughs> I'm starting to see that 900 degrees is where I like to be. And uh, I think that's where I'm going to have to stay. Because I think this is going to be super sketchy. So you guys know you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. I do appreciate all the support with the ESDA coming up. There we go, initiate in. As I say, this might be a shamble. We get a really good initiation and first an outer zone. I feel like I'm just so twitchy with the wheel. I don't know. I don't... Maybe, maybe 720, I don't know. Maybe we'll give 720 a shot before we end this episode off, but. Because I'm so used to driving at 900, I think I'm just trying to spin it more than I need to. On 540, just let it slide in my hands, there we go. We're gonna send it one more time, then we'll probably switch to 720 real quick. So I mean, maybe some people like the shorter throws, um, quick ex steering acceleration. I mean, there are cars that have modified steering racks for, you know, quicker response lock to lock, but I don't think it's 540 degrees. It 
gets really twitchy. So we're gonna switch it real quick and run one or two more sections at 720. So I hope I will be bringing all ESDA coverage from my side to you guys. Uh, qualifying is coming up and uh, I'm super excited. Hopefully I can qualify the, uh, the amount of drivers that registered jumped dramatically after I got my registration in. I mean, 720 feels pretty good. Just tap. It doesn't have that little extra quarter of a turn. So this is where it locks. It locks right here. And I have that little quarter of a turn. Same with this way. I have the extra quarter of a turn. So I have like that extra quarter of a turn leeway on my wheel setup, but it might mess with how I drive. So we're gonna give this a shot. I mean, maybe a lower wheel setting might be a little bit nicer for tandems, but uh, we're about to find out. in there oh that was good that was nice on that wall though that was actually a really good run uh, I'm actually very happy with that run um so so instead of two and a half turns, I believe it's one, it's two turns lock to lock, which is about what a BMW steering rack is, it's about two turns. So I'm wondering if maybe a 720 ratio is going to be good. It's like a little accelerated steering ratio. Um, so it's like having an accelerated rack, which I think maybe a lot of FD cars might have with their wise fab fronts and such so we're gonna give this a shot we may practice a little bit with 720 and see how it feels one more run here the shade in we we'll clipped the tire barrier so that's gonna do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsports 7 I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to tap the like button, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate all the support. So until next time, guys, I should be hopefully doing some live streaming tonight. Uh, I'm not sure what I will be uh, doing. I may be doing some Assetta Corsa, uh, maybe some PUBG with the team. But I should be live on the channel tonight. So make sure you guys check back to the channel tonight. So until next time, guys, I'm Evil Rabbit. And I'm out.